guys, so this makeup look is based on this picture of Candace Swanepoel, and I think she looks absolutely stunning. It really just shows off her very beautiful features, so I wanted to create something similar, and this is how mine turned out. So I hope you guys like this video, and yeah, let's get started. For my face, I'm using the Bobbi Brown BB Cream, and I really love this because it's very lightweight on your skin, yet it has very good coverage, so you won't look cakey or anything like that, and you'll have perfect, flawless-looking skin just like Candace. Next, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick, and this is just going to cover up any redness or blemishes that are left on my skin. Now, to set that, I'm using my Studio Gear Powder, and I'm lightly just going to dust this all over my face just to make sure that I don't get shiny or anything like that, and I really love this powder. Now, I'm using my Hoola Bronzer, and I'm just going to contour my cheeks and also put a little bit on my forehead and my nose just to give myself a nice tan. Uh, next, I'm applying another bronzer, and this one's a little bit darker, and I'm really just going to make it very defined um, on my cheekbone area and also down my neck. For blush, I'm applying the Bella Bamba by Benefit, and it's a really pretty pink with a little bit of shimmer, and I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and then also going up on my cheekbones. For a highlight, I'm actually taking a Bobbi Brown bronzer, and I'm going to use the lightest shade and just apply that to the highest point on my cheeks. Now Candace has really great brows, and as you can probably see, I don't really have eyebrows. I have a lot of hair in my eyebrows, the color just isn't tinted, so I'm just going to be filling them in, and I'm following the natural shape of my eyebrows, so yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do, and I find the best way to fill your eyebrows in is just to do small little strokes back and forth until you've accomplished the whole brow. After I'm finished with that, I'm using the other end of my brow pencil, and this just helps blend it all together so it's not like awkwardly harsh in any areas and that's how they turned out. So after that I'm just applying a tinted brow gel and this will just help keep your brows um, in place all day and also it just tints them as well which is really awesome. And yeah, I would actually do this if um, I didn't color them in before but I wanted to make them really dark for this look. Now for eyeshadow, we're going to keep it really simple and only do one color because we don't want to make it look like we're wearing eyeshadow, we just want a very natural color. So we're just applying that all over the lid. And then for eyeliner, I'm taking my MAC pencil and I'm just applying that very lightly onto my uh, lash line and you want it to look very, you want it to look like you're not wearing eyeliner, you just have a thick lash line. So you want to just do that very lightly and you want to make it not that obvious and then you're going to take uh, just a smudger on the end of an eyeliner and just smudge that out so it doesn't look harsh. Next I'm taking my MAC mascara and this is in brown and I really love this mascara. It helps your eyelashes really um, just be separated and it's not clumpy whatsoever so that helps it look a lot. Uh, more natural and I'm just applying about two coats of that. For this next part I realized that I wasn't filming so I kind of uh, refilmed it even though it's still on but um, anyways I'm just putting on white eyeliner onto my waterline and then I'm applying that same brown mascara onto my bottom lashes. Candace always has a lot of inner highlights so I'm just taking Virgin and applying that and then make sure you blend it out so it doesn't look really obvious. For lips, I'm just moisturizing with a chapstick, and then I'm taking my lipstick by Stila, and this is in the color Olivia, and I really love this lipstick because it tastes like mint, and also when you put it on, it makes your lips tingle kind of like a plumper, so I don't know, it's really fun and it tastes amazing. So yeah, and this color is just a really pretty kind of corally, pinkish nude, so yeah, I think it's perfect for this look. For my hair, I just have second day curls, and I'm just going to give myself a middle part, and basically there's not really much to do, you just want to give it a lot of volume and stuff. But by the way, the day before when I curled it, I used a 1 and 1 fourth inch curling iron. So, yeah. Now to make my hair even more just carefree and kind of natural, I'm adding this sea salt spray and I'm just going to spray it all over my hair and then scrunch it up. And this is just going to make it uh, just have a lot more volume and texture and just pretty much beach hair, I guess. 
Lastly, to make sure that your bangs don't have like awkward calyx in them, I just like to tease mine and make sure that um, they both go the same direction. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, leave me um, just any requests that you have or comments or anything like that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.